Hi Leo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If I missed you during your season, happy birthday if it's your sun sign. And we will begin. I hope your season treated you right. I know it was good to me. Uh, full moon in Aquarius, be real. I love this card. If I wanted to go camping, I'd want to do it here. Okay, I don't like to camp, but if I did, this is where I'd want to be. Be real, okay? And you see that person just sitting by that beautiful stream. It, to me, it looks like purity, right? Being true to yourself, purity, full moon in Aquarius, if I didn't say that, but very beautiful card. Let's see what the tarot wants to tell you. All right, general reading followed up by an angel answers oracle card reading. You have here the two of swords, huh? Caught in the middle. The ten of cups, the seven of pentacles. I feel like the wait is over if something's had you a bit trapped. The, yeah, the two of pentacles, the wheel of fortune, the five of wands, the hanged man, of course, and the six of Cups, I'm liking this a lot for you. It just feels like this to me is like freedom. I also like that hanged man because that light bulb moment, that epiphany, that aha, that where do I go next? What do I do next? Here you go. How about let's head down here? I heard the yellow brick road when I started saying heading down. So I feel like you're going to have a nice turn of events here where things are going to get a whole lot easier if they've been stagnant or stuck. You may also, too, have a new solution to an old problem. That's what I heard, a new solution to an old problem. Now, you have two twos here, and twos are about partnerships generally, but I would say, too, with the two of pentacles being here, if it's something to do with money, you're going to have a new opportunity open up here. And you may not recognize it right now. It's one of those things when the two of swords is here that there will be more will be revealed. There's something here that you're not aware of or seeing at this point. Now, if it's something to do with relationships, I do feel like you have an apology coming, but you've got very convivial, harmonious energy here. The happy family card, if you've been worried about a family member, worried about their chaos, their drama, their saga that seems to be ceaseless, I feel like you're going to step into a much better cycle here. And it may be that they are improving, but it also may be your own ability to kind of let it go and let it flow and let their problems become their problems. That tends to inspire people to take some action, doesn't it? So not trying to turn this into an Al-Anon meeting or anything, but you know, <laughs> it's a good program. But anyway, okay, the 12, uh, the 12 steps. How about the two of swords? This is getting fun already. Um, this two of swords does show some, you know, just show some confusion, some lack. That's what the two of swords is because this isn't moving anywhere. Could you imagine trying to stand up? Holding those two swords would be like the most difficult pistol squad of your life. If you've ever tried one of those, they're not easy. And so this is that energy too, though, where she she doesn't see a choice, but she has many, of course, those of us watching. So if it is somebody around you and you can see their choices for them and they refuse to make them, they refuse to see solutions, you may find that you give yourself a little space between you and them, that it's just too difficult. Now, if it's something too with a financial situation, I do feel like you're finally going to be able to move forward. So if you say, yeah, I'd, it'd be easy if they'd just move and allow me to do this, I do feel like you're finally going to come unstuck. All right. So with the 10 of cups here, here is that energy of absolute dominion, perfection, the rainbow after the storm. So what I like about this is it acknowledges both the five of wands and the two of swords in the reading. This is saying, look, you have had a little bit of a sticky wicket here, but we're going to be able to move forward. And if it is something to do with housing, if you've had issues, if you had things in storage and there was either damage, because I keep seeing water like coming into like what looks like cement. If there was some kind of damage or something like that, I feel like you're going to get a resolution. Um, but I also would say, too, with this, anything to do with housing, this is great. Now, should we talk about relationships? I guess we should. I do feel like you're going to have a much more harmonious cycle moving forward, getting along better. And if it is a relationship that you're asking about, you're going to have a lot in common. And I feel like with this, too, 
you're going to you're going to move at a pace that makes you feel confident and secure both of you okay two people in this thing it's like you're both on the same team isn't that refreshing so in a relationship if it even starts suddenly with this i know we keep going back to these but there's something about them even if it starts, you know, I heard subtly, but I, I was saying suddenly, I do feel like with this, and maybe it is subtle where you're not even expecting it and there they are. I do feel like you have an instant connection showing up. If you're already with them though, I'd see it as being a relationship that flourishes and may just be, I heard the word bedrock, meaning like your support system, you know, the place where your soft place where you go to land and everything seems okay. With this seven of pentacles, you have had a wait, and but sevens are great numbers, and it is a card of success. It is a card of harvest. And so if you've been waiting on something, because there he stands, right? He's like, when are these things finally going to be ready? Well, your time is now. So with the seven of pentacles, know that there's opportunities showing up, yes, but I feel like your hard work even more than that. This represents the cultivation of your hard work, your patience, paying off. So if something's been taking a long time, your ability to fo follow up and, and ask and check on progress without being too pushy. Because you know how that goes. When we start to push too hard, the door starts to slam shut even harder in our face. So I do feel like with this, you're, you're going to make nice progress. It's going to be nice and steady. And I feel like it's progress that you can trust where you're going to feel like, yeah, this is working, where you're feeling like even if you've had to follow up a few times, that the ball is not going to be dropped again. And so with this two of pentacles energy here, I feel like, again, the, the things start to pick up and it might be a bit of an adjustment for you. You have more than one option here. So I feel like if it's a work or a housing situation, especially if you've been trying to move and I just get a little source of anxiety, especially if there is some kind of water issue going on, um, that just sort of holding that at bay, or if it is a storage issue where you say, I don't know how much longer I can keep this like this. I feel like all of a sudden things seem to move forward and you'll find with this, it will be something you can manage, even if it gets a little busy. Now, if it's more than one job opportunity where there's more than one opening available, I feel like you'll pick the right one with this. But that hanged man energy too, if you've never thought about changing in terms of your job, even if it's something within where you work, I feel like you're going to have that light bulb moment or even a side hustle that you pick up and you say, this is great. It's not stressful. It's easy to do. I feel in control of it. It's like you have that great idea that brings in more. That's how I get that. So open yourself up wide because that wheel of fortune, this is one of the most exciting cards to get. It's the one of the lottery tickets of the tarot. You have one of the fairy tale cards here too. But know that when the wheel shows up, this is when you get answers. This is when you see how things work. And in the end, everything keeps pushing you towards joy unless you fight it. Okay, unless we try to stop the wheel from turning. It reminds me of like the price is white right wheel. That's what I'm thinking of right now. You never see a contestant reach over and try to stop the wheel. You have to trust and have faith. But I will tell you with this, this is telling you that a time of inaction is coming to an end and things are going to get busy and pick up. But the good news too with this is it shows you what to hold on to and what to let go of. So you might find that you make decisions pretty easily here. And especially with the hanged man, with this light bulb, this uh, energy around the crown, where you see things differently and it just makes everything move smoother. There's no hangups here. There's nothing catching you. There's no barbed wire that you have to be aware of. And it's also too, though, these are very spiritual energies. So as much as we get excited about the speed and the the quickness of change, that the wheel represents a portal into the divine. So step into your divine nature. Know that you have a higher self who wants to guide you, who wants to show you. So the next, to me, the next quarter is going to be very important for you where I feel like you're going to have a lot of changes, but in a very positive way. Now, I never told you this. You have Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio is here. We've got earth, water, fire, air, all the elements. So the five of wands, again, that proverbial goat rodeo where you're having to organize and manage some things. I do feel like with this, though, it's not going to be any big deal for you, okay? I feel like you're going to be able to easily mitigate change, manage anything that seems to come up. It could be a lot of little piddly stuff, too, with this. Um, now, if you have a, a family member, like we talked about, or a close friend, 
that's kind of doing this two of swords and it's creating a five of wands issue for you where you're having to pick up the pieces. You may decide to take a different approach with this hanged man. I feel like with this, they're saying, be easy about things. You know, let it go and let it flow. Like we said, we give other people's problems back to them and our lives just seem to get so much better. So with the hangman energy, you have here support. You've got a card of being quite open too. And so you'll see things differently. You'll see things through the eyes of wisdom, a surrender to win. Um, but with this too, he has both his arms and legs behind his back. So he's wide open to change. You'll find too with this, I feel like, if there's somebody in your life that is quite stuck, I feel like you're going to meet new people and new friendships, new acquaintances. And I feel like that's going to be part of what can ease you away from something that just has not been working. And so that six of cups, again, speaking of new people, you've got nice supportive people showing up here too. This kind of energy is just easy to live in. It's trusting, it's supportive, it's helpful. In terms of a relationship too, though, if you have had a relationship in the past, the most recent one, if you are single, it, it feels like you have a partnership here and you might have somebody here who wants to give just a little bit more. I feel like there could be an adjustment if you've had somebody who was doing a lot of the taking and not much giving. It reminds me of the Barry Manilow song, Mandy. Um, I feel like you're gonna find that you have somebody here who really wants to give and not take, okay? They're giving and not taking. All right, let's see. Give without taking, how about that? You have listened to your intuition, so quiet down so you can hear it. Know those ideas can come from deep within. Ask your angels because they're trying to communicate with you, even through the reading. Trust, trust the universe wants to guide you onto that path of your most desired things, the most desired outcomes in the near future, they say. And you have a yes, you create your own reality. You can have, do, or be anything. Good things are on the way for you, Leo. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.